Today is the Around the Crown. We're downtown Charlotte. We'll do something a little different this year. One. So I told you I was doing something different today. I'm running with the strollers. Nobody ever documents this stroller brigade. And here at Around the Crown, Brian and the Mr. Family, they love strollers. Like actually, if you run with Brian, you'll know quite often he's pushing a stroller, pushing the kids, him or his wife. And so I'm running with the family today. Curry family over there. And I, will this be a tag team effort? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I pushed her out. You push her there you go. Hey, that good that's line. a smart move. That was a good line. This is crazy. Look how many strollers are running this race and they're not slow there are a lot of fast stroller runners out here oh once again pro move around the crown sustainable cups huh come on so getting to know the mr family sustainability is a big key part of any of the races they do the around the crown or the nota 5k they really do their best to like not leave a print there are the front stroller runners and right here is the people that I'm running with and so now we enter the I-277 and this is what it's all about we're on I-277 and I'm gonna come back and catch the Curry family but the race director challenged me to see how fast how long I could stay with the eight guys oh, front pack miserable here they come we just hit I'm going to stop talking, get my heart rate down. My God. Woo! This is stupid. And so there they are. The first group. We'll let my watch sustain to see what their pace is. I'm not going to call it out. Oh my God. Bravo, gentlemen. Okay, so I allowed my breath to come back to me after that ridiculous effort those guys were putting in. The Curry family caught back up with me. But the reason why I'm running with Scott today, the Scott was very instrumental of getting the first around the crown off the ground. Last year in the video, we talked about it having to first be pitched to the city, then go to the DOT, then go back to the city and it's just this a massive amount of permits like it's a yeah. very hard race yeah. to pull off oh the amount of public safety coordination that goes into making something like this happen is really pretty extraordinary so i mean it was a wild idea when uh brian and i were first kind of noodling on it and over a couple of beverages <laughs> so the story is true okay <laughs> <laughs> Brian told me, he was like, Herod, it was this crazy idea. It was over a beverage or two. And like, I said it and everybody was like, this is a great idea. Like, yeah. Well, so I, I'm one of the co-founders of Open Street 704. And we had talked about doing something on this scale. But an interstate is just a whole different level and really lends itself better to a race than like an open streets all day type of event because yeah. you got to get on and off and keep everyone safe and so when brian was talking about it i had sort of been thinking about a similar thing for open streets and was like this is a way better idea and uh yeah we just kept the conversation going i was working at the city of charlotte at the time and um helped him figure out the right folks to talk to and we just kept talking to people really brian and chelsea did all the lifting they they talked to the right folks and just kept not getting a no right and then talked to the next person and say, kept not getting a no and eventually it was like oh, this this might really happen and uh to be out here right now 
like pushing my daughter who wasn't even born yet when we were having all these conversations. It's just, it's surreal. What a blessing. You know, you run some t these events and you just show up and they don't understand like the logistics that goes on behind it. But man, this race is a lot of fun, huge crowd. Someone asked me about it and I said, well, it's a party uh, that just happens to be around running. That's right. Two mile mark, Woo! smile, big deep breath in, fill those lungs. Today's a great day. them that's my excuse anyway that sign lets us know that we're at mile three which just even more lets us know that the queen's climb is coming oh. like in every run you come across somebody really cool and this is andrew his okay. wife, Andrea, is crushing it back there. Like, this is such a big deal for her. And uh, you just meet, meet really cool people yeah, man. like you that- Appreciate the motivation. Kind of help you get out of the funk. And Andrew, I'm gonna let you go. All right, man. Have fun, buddy. I hope you find the next one. I will. So the Queen's Climb is behind us. And now all the runners are smiling. They're happy, right? Great job, Dad. Strong work up Queen's Climb. Everyone should be proud of yourself. You should smile. There you go. We're doing it for the beer. Look at all these smiles coming around the corner. Again. Four miles. Let's go. Smile. Queen's Climb is behind you. Yeah, look at all the smiles. There we go. Come on. There we go. Great job. Great job. Mr. Human Powered Moment himself. How are you feeling? Uh, well. You're still smiling. It's, it's for the video. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> for the Around the Crown. Once again, I had such a blast running with the Curry family. I would have loved to said that I would have, could have stayed with them, but no, they were really fast and they were pushing a stroller. Thoroughly enjoyed it. If you run with a stroller, the Around the Crown is a great race for you uh, because yeah, they just take great care of the stroller runners. It's also a great community, multiple cheer stations, multiple aid stations, the Around the Crown 10K. Check it out. We'll see you next year.